On a crisp November morning, as the first rays of sunlight filtered through the mist at Shanghai's bustling airport, a quiet revolution was taking place. The world's attention was fixed on a single aircraft poised to make history, China's C929 wide-body jet. The result of years of relentless engineering and ambition quietly achieved a milestone that few thought possible, 12,000 kilometers of non-stop range. This wasn't just another test flight, it was a statement to the world. This isn't just a technical feat, it's a direct challenge to the long-standing dominance of Airbus and Boeing, the two giants that have ruled the skies for decades. For years, these Western titans have set the standard for long-haul travel, but now, a new contender has entered the arena, and the global aviation industry is taking notice. The C929, born from China's state-driven ambition and years of collaboration between engineers, designers, and policymakers, now stands as a machine capable of connecting continents. It's more than just an aircraft, it's a symbol of national pride and technological progress. Designed to compete head-to-head -head with the Airbus A330, NEO and Boeing 787, the C929 can carry nearly 300 passengers across oceans in comfort and efficiency. Its spacious cabin, advanced materials, and fuel-efficient engines make it a serious alternative for airlines looking to expand their fleets. Achieving this range transforms the C929 from a regional upstart to a true intercontinental contender. Airlines can now consider new direct routes between Asia, Europe, North America, and beyond, routes that were once the exclusive domain of Western manufacturers. This opens up new markets, new opportunities, and a new era for global air travel. More than a test of an airframe, this flight is proof that China's aerospace ecosystem has arrived on the global stage. It signals a shift in the balance of power in aviation, and the world is watching to see what comes next. The C929 is a product of China's Made in China 2025 initiative, aimed at ending reliance on Western jets. Initially a joint venture with Russia, the project soon became a solo mission for COMAC as geopolitical tensions rose. The aircraft showcases modern engineering, with carbon fiber composites reducing weight and boosting fuel efficiency. COMAC's strategy, adopt proven Western technologies, avoid risky leaps, and build a robust domestic supply chain. Early models will still rely on Western engines and systems, but the long-term goal is full Chinese integration. Western suppliers face a dilemma, sell to Comac and risk training a future rival. Every component delivered is a lesson for China's engineers. 12,000 kilometers isn't just a number, it's the key to unlocking vital global routes. From Shanghai, the C929 can now reach London, Los Angeles, and Sydney non-stop, making it a practical tool for China's major airlines. Achieving this range required a high aspect ratio wing and extensive use of carbon composites, mirroring Western design philosophies. Early skepticism about Comac's ambitious targets has faded. The test flight proved the aircraft's real-world capability with a representative payload. This performance puts the C929 firmly on airline fleet planner's radar. It's not just about distance, it's about flying full, profitably, and reliably. Comac's engineering discipline is now impossible to ignore. Side by side with the Boeing 787 and Airbus A330neo, the C929 is a credible contender. Its passenger capacity and range are competitive, covering most international routes airlines care about. However, fuel efficiency and systems integration remain the duopoly's strengths, thanks to decades of experience and cutting-edge engine technology. Comac's initial reliance on Western engines means it may lag slightly in efficiency. The real challenge, matching the reliability and seamless systems integration that airlines expect. The C929 must prove it can fly far and fly reliably day after day. For now, it's a strong alternative, but the learning curve is steep. The unveiling of the C929 didn't send shockwaves of panic through the halls of Boeing or Airbus. There were no emergency meetings or public admissions of worry, yet beneath the calm surface, a subtle but unmistakable ripple of concern began to spread among the industry's top decision makers. While the official stance remained confident, the reality was that this new development forced both companies to pause and reconsider their long-term strategies. The arrival of a serious new player in the market was no longer a distant possibility. It was a present challenge that demanded attention. What had once been dismissed as an ambitious project from afar was now a tangible, flying prototype. The C929 was not only meeting its development milestones, but in some cases, it was even surpassing expectations and hitting key targets ahead of schedule. 
this was a clear signal that the competitive landscape was evolving faster than many had anticipated. In public, Western manufacturers continued to emphasize their decades of experience, their unmatched efficiency, and the global support networks that have made them industry leaders. They spoke confidently about their ability to innovate and adapt. But behind closed doors, the tone was different. Executives were quietly updating their playbooks, analyzing new data, and preparing for a future where their dominance could no longer be taken for granted. Strategic discussions became more urgent, and contingency plans were dusted off and revised. The emergence of a credible Chinese competitor threatened to erode the pricing power that Boeing and Airbus had long enjoyed, especially in the lucrative Chinese market. For years, these two giants had set the terms, but now, the balance of power was beginning to shift. Chinese airlines, once reliant on Western suppliers, suddenly found themselves with real leverage at the negotiating table. They could now play manufacturers against each other, demanding better deals and more favorable terms. As a result, Western manufacturers faced mounting pressure to offer deeper discounts and more attractive packages to retain their market share. The days of easy negotiations and predictable outcomes were fading fast. The C929 doesn't need to be the world's most advanced or luxurious plane. Its true strength lies in being good enough, good enough to give buyers a genuine alternative and to force the established players to compete harder for every sale. With this new dynamic, the global aviation market is entering a period of unprecedented competition. The old rules no longer apply, and every major player must adapt to survive. The once unshakable duopoly is now facing a new reality, and they know that the era of easy dominance is coming to an end. The C929 is as much a geopolitical event as an industrial one. In Washington and Brussels, it's seen as a direct challenge to Western aerospace dominance and export revenues. Certification by the FAA and ESA is the next big hurdle. Without it, global sales are limited. Western governments are tightening technology exports, especially for engines and avionics, complicating COMAX supply chain. In response, the US and EU are ramping up investment in next-gen aviation tech to maintain their lead. The C929 has become a catalyst, spurring innovation and regulatory scrutiny on both sides. The message is clear. The West won't cede aerospace leadership without a fight. For airlines, a third major manufacturer is welcome news. Competition means better prices. Even airlines that never buy a C929 benefit from its presence at the negotiating table. But buying a new aircraft type is about more than price. It's about long-term support, reliability, and trust. Airbus and Boeing have global service networks. Comac is just starting to build its own. Political pressures will shape orders. Chinese carriers will be expected to buy domestic while others may face pressure to avoid Chinese jets. Ultimately, trust will be built over years of safe, reliable service, first in China, then perhaps, worldwide. The C929's real test will be winning confidence beyond its home market. The C929's greatest vulnerability is its reliance on Western engines. China is racing to develop its own high-bypass turbofan, the CJ2000, but matching Western performance is a decade away. For now the jet will launch with proven GE or Rolls-Royce engines, setting a high bar for the domestic alternative. The engine is the hardest part of the puzzle, jet propulsion technology is fiercely guarded and incredibly complex. If the Chinese engine can't match Western reliability, airlines will hesitate to switch. The future of the C929 hinges on China's ability to master this final, critical technology. The engine race will decide whether Comac becomes a true global rival or remains dependent. The C929's remarkable 12,000-kilometer flight isn't just a technical achievement, it marks a pivotal turning point in the story of global aviation. For decades the skies have been dominated by a familiar duopoly, but now, a new contender is making its presence felt on the world stage. China, once seen as a distant follower, is now emerging as a serious player in the fiercely competitive world of commercial aviation. The successful development and launch of the C929 signals China's ambition to challenge the established order and reshape the industry's future. While Comac's new jet isn't yet an equal to Boeing or Airbus in terms of efficiency, global support, or decades of experience, it has made a significant leap forward. 
The C929 has moved from being a mere paper project to a credible and tangible threat, forcing the industry to take notice. The aircraft's development showcases China's growing expertise in advanced engineering and manufacturing, and its determination to close the gap with Western rivals. In response, Western manufacturers and governments are ramping up their investments in research, innovation, and tighter export controls. They're determined to defend their technological lead and protect their market share from this rising challenger. The stakes are high, and the competition is intensifying as both sides race to develop the next generation of aircraft and aviation technology. For airlines around the world, the arrival of the C929 brings a breath of fresh air and much-needed competition. It offers new choices for fleet expansion and the potential for better deals, but it also introduces new risks and uncertainties. Airlines must carefully weigh the benefits of lower costs and increased competition against concerns about reliability, safety, and long-term support for these new aircraft. Ultimately, the international success of the C929 will depend on Comac's ability to build trust, establish a robust global support network, and prove its commitment to safety and service. The old duopoly isn't broken yet, but the market has changed forever. The balance of power is shifting, and the world is watching closely. The question now is clear. Will the C929 ignite a new era of healthy competition and innovation in aviation, or will it open a new front in the ongoing global rivalry between East and West? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. The center of gravity in global aviation is shifting and the world's airlines, manufacturers, and travelers will all feel the impact.